Hey, I'm Evan, head of engineering for RM Stator. Uh, today we're going to show you our new Polaris uh, 500 flywheel. Um, and I'm going to show you some of our other parts that go along with it. So this is a really nice upgrade. There's a ton of these Polaris, uh, the Sportsman 500s, and I think the Scrambler and uh, a bunch of other models of their ATVs. They all use this uh, Polaris FF97 uh, coated flywheel. Um, ton of them. Uh, these guys all have a problem with the magnets coming loose, um, really common, and we have a great fix for it with our new flywheel with sealed magnets. So we'll get into that in just a second. Um, we also have all the other parts that go along with it. There's a couple stators that go along with this flywheel. We've got them on the shelf. Uh, we have the voltage regulators. We have ignition kits and just about everything you need to go along with these. So if you are in the boat where you're uh, going to go ahead and replace your flywheel and just not have to worry about problems with this thing anymore, you might as well go ahead and install a new stator and regulator. Take care of all your electrical problems at the same time. Anyways, with that being said, let's take a closer look at this flywheel uh, and compare it to the original and we'll show you just why you need this. Okay, so let's take a closer look at our new uh, Polaris 500 flywheel. So first, uh, let's look at the original. So you can see here exactly what the problem is with these. They have exposed magnets. Um, and now that in itself is not a major problem, except they used an epoxy that just wasn't really up to the job to keep these magnets um, adhered to the, the outer diameter of the flywheel. So over time, that epoxy becomes brittle and the magnet will kind of walk itself off uh, away from the outside edge. Um, it doesn't take much. It can contact the stator, the magnet disintegrates, you end up with pieces in your oil all over your crankcase, and you've got a huge repair. Um, the kind of common fix that's been going around right now is to get new magnets and reattach them uh, using some uh, like JB Weld marine grade epoxy. And, you know, I get the um, interest in saving some money, but it's really not a good idea. And let me tell you why. Um, if you go ahead and install new magnets and you don't line them up perfectly, you are going to have a uneven magnetic field. Um, you're not going to be driving the stator evenly and you're going to end up destroying your stator coils. Uh, and then you're in for an even more expensive replacement. Um, if you don't line it up perfectly, you're also going to have an unbalanced flywheel. That's not going to leave your crankshaft very happy. Um, so there's a lot of different things that can happen, none of which um, are good, and there's just really no great outcome from a repair. So let me show you what we have. This is our new flywheel for the Polaris 500s. Um, it has, uh, uses much better uh, strength epoxy to seal the magnets in place, and we also use a stainless steel shield uh, around the inside to completely cover the magnets. Now. They will never come loose, but God forbid one did, it's completely enclosed in the shield here and cannot contact your stator. Um, it's also uh, machine balanced. Um, it's a perfect fit for all the 500s um, and it completely solves the problem with these things. So I would highly recommend this. Um, if you have one and you haven't had the problem with the magnets failing yet, you will eventually. So this is kind of cheap insurance if you look at it that way to just not have any future problems with your machine. Uh, make sure to check out or other parts available for them and uh, go ahead and do this uh, upgrade now and don't have to do a repair later once you have some really expensive damage.